On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Triple Attack Spider-Man. Indicated down below, you can try the Spider-Man by pressing the button on his belt, but Spot's going to hold off until we get this out of packaging. Weapons activate 25 plus sounds and phrases. It also includes one demo battery, so you don't have to worry about changing them just yet, but it would take a AA batteries. This is recommended for ages 4 and up. Image is also <laughs> enhanced to show light effect. Uh, really, sounds and lights aside, that's a pretty decent looking Spider-Man. A good size as well. Really would be ideal for chi a child, really, if you wanted to have his own Spider-Man toy. On the back of the package, uh, three modes. Each unlock unique sounds and phrases. Uh, also has wisecracking Spider-Man, web slinging, web whip, crime fighting, and three web shocker electrified battle. You can see as well, Spider-Man says several different phrases. You're one ugly dude goblin. Thrip, this thing is so cool. And shocked to see me, Electro? Outrageous. Down below, some of the other things that you can pick up, along with uh, another Spider-Man, a Spider-Strike Spider-Man down there. There is also the Spider-Vision mask and web slinger. Some really cool play toys allowing you to be Spider-Man. You can be Spider-Man. I know. I'd love to be Spider-Man, at least maybe for an hour. I probably would get a little, you know, sickness, a little motion sickness from swinging around in the city. But yeah, I'd love to be Spider-Man, at least for an hour. I'm just throwing it out there. Spot's also throwing out there, too, that I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we can get a better look at the triple attack Spider-Man. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Having a look at your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, gotta say, he is pretty impressive. Now, granted, he doesn't have a lot of articulation, as really the majority of this figure's uh, draw is the fact that it has the lights and sounds. But still, on its own, Spider-Man does manage to accomplish some articulation in the head, which allows the head to move back and forth, and uh, not really so much up and down, but more so back and forth. Uh, his shoulders do rotate all the way around. They don't rotate out, though. The one hand does swivel. And last but certainly not least, Spider-Man does have swinging legs. Um, he is a really good-looking toy, though. I mean, he's a good size. And uh, there's not really there's not really a lot of big Spider-Man toys. You know, they, they used to have, like, the large ones for the original uh, Spider-Man movies. But it's nice to kind of see a fun Spider-Man toy that has lights and sounds. Now, you don't have to actually add the, the components, which we'll look at in a second. On his own, and without really anything else on him, Spider-Man really looks neat. I, I think the coloring is decent enough on him. On the back section there is where you would change out the batteries for uh, the Spider-Man figure here. But yeah, he's paint-wise, he's really good. I'm liking him quite a bit. So, obviously, the one thing you guys will want to see is the lights and sounds on Spider-Man. Well, you, this will all be based on this belt button right here. When you press this, he will, re, he will cycle through several different phrases, and also his eyes will light up. Uh, this section here will light up too, but it will involve you plugging something in. I'll show you that in a second. But before we do that, let's press the button right here, and we'll show you. I'll show you some of the sounds and phrases that he actually will say. Oh, also, by the way, too, there is a speaker area right here in his chest, and speaker-wise, uh, he projects a pretty decent level of sound as well. So, pressing the button once... That wasn't me, by the way, that was actually Spider-Man. Pressing it again... Take that, Electro! You also see, too, that that lights up. That will play heavily into the, the add-ons that we'll be putting on in a second. Pressing it again... Oh, you are one ugly dude, Goblin. And also, too, one other thing is uh, certain lights and sounds, his eyes will also light up. Uh, pressing that button again. You can run, but you can't hide. You can see how his eyes do light up. 
I've got you now, goblin. So, taking that core idea of Spider-Man with his lights and his sounds, you can then also take the one of two different attachments that he got, does come included with, one being a web, a big web shooter here, a little webbing on the side. Uh, it's a bit of a suction, so I suppose you could probably suction it to the wall, and you can have Spider-Man hanging from the wall. But both this, as well as this kind of shield dagger that he's got out of webbing as well, both plug into his arms. You'll see on the side of his arm there are two peg holes and uh, the either attachment, depending on which one you want to use, either attachment will have a longer peg and a much shorter peg. Uh, in both cases though, just move the arm out of the way here, the little hand out of the way here, take the attachment and plug it in above and beyond the two peg holes too there is a nice clamp that clamps onto the arm of Spider-Man, so the attachment isn't going to come off. Pressing that button again. Time to charge up the web. You can see also how it lights this section here. And being that this is a nice translucent blue plastic, it allows the light to really resonate and, and light up the majority of this section here. Um, while I do like this kind of attachment, I think my preferred attachment for Spider-Man is probably the webbing. So just again, taking the web attachment, the two pegs that you see right here, plug those into his arm, and again, that lights up. Pressing the button again on Spider-Man. My spider sense is tingling. Amped up web shooter on! And once again, there's the uh, the light up on this. I like the fact that this is also translucent uh, in plastic too. If it was just a solid plastic, the light up feature you wouldn't be able to see as well. The blue also is a nice touch too versus some other colors that they could have gone with. Had they gone with maybe a red, it would have blended in too much with Spider-Man. The, the inclusion of the blue I think is a nice touch. It's definitely a fun Spider-Man. It's something maybe not necessarily for the older collectors out there, but for the kids that are wanting to collect a Spider-Man toy, something that they can interact with Spidey, doesn't get any bit better than this one right here. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Hasbro Amazing Spider-Man 2 Triple Attack Spider-Man. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I am ready for action.